So let's continue with this uh, free course, which is called 3D Modeling, Shading and Rendering in Blender. In the last lesson, we, uh, we learned the first lesson, right? It was a Blender's interface. So we have covered a few things. If you didn't watch that video, please watch that now before watching this video, because uh, those were the basics, introduction to Blender and its in interface. We learned the second lesson, it's navigating around the Blender scene. So let's jump into Blender and get started. Now I'm inside of Blender and let's learn how to navigate in this scene. The first thing is this, holding down the middle mouse button of your mouse, right? The middle button scroll scroll wheel, we can say you can uh, hold down and just drag to orbit around uh, whatever object you're looking at. We learned that before and you can do this from here, like hover over this white circle area, circular area and click on anywhere, left click and drag to look around. And looking around or orbiting around the object depends on what you are focusing. The next thing uh, might be focusing. It's uh, important because you will quickly find yourself uh, lost sometimes in Blender or sometimes it's difficult to zoom into something. So let's learn focusing and I will show you how to zoom. So you can click whatever object you have and press not F like many other 3D software. It is numpad. You can see that uh, in the screen now uh, and you can press on that and you will focus on that object. When you're focusing on some object and you orbit around that object uh, if you hold down middle mouse button and orbit, you orbit around that object. So it's important. And let's uh, uh, click, select this cube and uh, focus on that. And now we can orbit around that. And by now you probably have learned uh, zooming in and out by scrolling the wheel. You can do this from here, the widgets. You can hold down left mouse button on this magnifying glass wheel or something. And you can zoom in out uh, better, I think more incrementally, smoother, uh, rather than these scroll wheels. So yeah, we have learned three things, right? Holding down middle mouse button and orbiting by holding down middle mouse button or doing this, dragging from here with left mouse button and focusing on an object, on an object. You can select the object from Outliner, for example, and come back, hover. Your cursor needs to be in 3D viewport and press numpad zero. So this is focusing. If you ever find it difficult to select something, you can always select it from here and hover in the 3D viewport and press numpad zero to focus. This is uh, one of the things that beginners come across. I, I will show you one thing. They are focusing on this cube, right? Or let's say they are focusing on this lamp, let's say, and we're orbiting around this lamp. And suddenly they want to come uh, closer, zoom into this cube, and they turn the scroll wheel into the cube. They want to go to the cube, but it's impossible, right? Blender seems like it's stuck. It is stuck and it doesn't like to zoom, no matter how many times you turn the scroll wheel, right? And it never, it doesn't want to go to this cube. So it happens a lot, especially with beginners. So this is not a problem, actually, because uh, you are focusing on this lamp. This is why Blender doesn't want to go further than this lamp. I mean, if you want to zoom in, Blender only tries to zoom into this lamp. So if you want to go closer to this cube, instead you can select the cube and focus on this. And you can go inside the cube if you want. There are other ways. Uh, I will show you one more way to focusing on something. It's a really handy tool. Just press Shift B and drag and draw a rectangle to focus there. It's also focusing and it's very very handy. And the next thing is called panning. Instead of uh, going around in the scene, you can move the scene itself or you can move relative to the scene. It's called panning or pan. Let me show you what I mean. Just hold down or just uh, press this arm icon or arm button. It's not arm, it's hand button. And just uh, left click, yeah, drag and you can pan. You can pan like this. And there is a shortcut for that. You just hold down shift and also hold down middle mouse button and drag. 
Orbiting and panning are two most commonly used ways of navigation. Most of the time you don't work with one object. Yeah? You have many other objects and you look around each object and if you want to orbit around that object, you just pan. You don't have to focus on that object and just pan and look at all those objects. Let me show you one thing. So let's uh, come here and add. This is the first uh, experience of adding objects in Blender, I think, if you're completely new to Blender. So let's come here and uh, let's press, uh, select this monkey. And now the monkey is just inside this cube in the center of the world. There is uh, some way, uh, there must be some way to move the monkey. Let's use these tools and move this monkey away. And let's an add another object, add uh, mesh remember i selected from mesh not other things mesh the first thing and then let's select cylinder move the cylinder now i'm looking around this cube right orbiting around but if i want to orbit around the monkey i just come here and orbit around this monkey i just pan and this will be the center of my movement i mean orbiting i am orbiting around this one and let's put this in center and let's orbit now i'm orbiting around this cylinder so orbiting panning very very important let's delete the this delete just delete key on your uh, keyboard select this delete select this and do you know how to bring this to the center mm, can you do that do you remember anything I hope you are right. You select this move tool and uh, just, I hope you can see those arrow keys, red arrow here, because now I'm about to show you something else. Looking at your scene with keyboard sh shortcuts. Uh, you can use keyboard shortcuts or you can use these, uh, these letters. Let's uh, click one of these letters, for example, X. If I uh, press X, I'm looking from the side, press them and look from one side or the other side. Actually, you don't use these letters, but you use numpad keys. So the three numpad keys corresponding to these three axes are one, which means you are looking from the front, three, you're looking from the side, and seven, you're looking from top. One, three, seven, one, three, seven. And uh, as a bonus, I will show you how to look from the opposite side. For example, if you press one, you always look from front right no matter where you are looking from if you uh, press one you look from the front just like that but uh, let me show you one extra bonus tip if you hold down control and one and press one you look from the back uh, one front control one back do you know how to look from one side and the other side i hope you know this uh, three from right side or left side i think i don't know so three for us it is the right side but for the monkey it's the left side whatever three from uh, this side control three from that side and uh, just like that we press seven and control seven from uh, to look from top or bottom and last but not least i will show you some more bonus tips actually two things and one is uh, used more often than the other at least for me. This is walk navigation and fly navigation, which is very cool. Just like in game engines, if you ever use game engines, just games, right? If you played games, uh, you control the character or you walk by pressing WASD. So WASD keys, don't press WASD na now because they do some more, some other things now. Let me show you. You come here to view navigation, and here you have walk navigation in the, the last option here. Let's press that. And now you don't have to press anything. Uh, you just look around with your mouse and press W to go forwards, A, uh, S to go backwards, A to go left, D to go right, W, A, S, D. So, and there are two more letters here, E to go up, Q to go down. For some reason, my add-on is not showing the letters correctly. Not correctly, it doesn't show any letters here. You can move your cursor and look around. And if you look down, 
at the status bar of Blender's interface, just here, uh, I can't show it here, but I will highlight it in the video by editing. So you have, you can see a lot of letters. So you can press them to see what they do. I'm not going to show everything here. And you shouldn't press any, any buttons on your mouse. If you press any button, you go out of walk navigation mode. So you can come again navigation and uh, walk navigation while you're moving while you're walking now you can turn the scroll wheel to uh, f to forwards to go faster just like that now i'm going much faster or you can turn the scroll wheel backwards if you know what i mean you go slower so turn the scroll wheel to see the effect you can go faster or slower and you can also press escape on the keyboard to go out of walk navigation mode and there is this navigation fly navigation i don't use it very often it's a little wonky and it's not sometimes not very accurate but yeah you have this option too so that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson